I'll finish this unit up on connectors with uh, cam lock. Right, so cam lock is really how we start to move big power. 100 amps to 600 amps. It's really how we're moving a lot of, a lot of current. Um, around um, any sort of portable power system. And if you take a look at these connectors here, you'll see that each one is its very own individual conductor. And I know we've talked a little bit about three-phase power, right? So this is set up to where we have three separate phases. Black is going to be A phase, red will be B phase, blue will be C phase, white is the neutral, and green, as always, is the ground. So we're carrying three hots, a neutral, and a ground, right, at between 100 amps and 600 amps. This connector is actually watertight, and once it's made, you can leave it kind of sitting in a puddle, and it's going to be just fine, right? It's uh, designed to be outside. It's very, very robust. And again, each one of these connectors is only carrying a single piece of wire. Each one of these wires, there are no individual conductors on the inside of this. This jacket is just filled with copper. It's one piece of wire, right? And this is a little side view of this large brass pin, right? As you connect or disconnect cam locks, you always want to make sure that you connect the ground first, right? Ground first, and that provides your safety followed then by the white cam lock, which is the neutral, and then each one of the load connectors. And what that does is connects the safety first, right, the return next, and then each of the hots, so that if there's any problem in the wiring, that your safety is engaged first. You will always connect the ground first in a cam lock connector, right? Cam lock cable is very heavy. Some of this is two pounds a foot, right? So uh, this five this five wire configuration um, could be 10 pounds a foot. And at 50 feet, that adds up to be quite a lot of weight. And uh, you wind up dragging cam lock cable all over the place. Cam lock is almost always used for power distribution. We never send that to an individual fixture or very rarely, maybe in the film industry, you'll use cam lock to go to an individual fixture. But it usually goes to power distribution where it's broken down um, into smaller, more manageable pieces. Right, so I'm gonna just carry on and finish up. Talking about identifying the ground. Ground is gonna be the longest pin. Here's a twist lock and you can see that this longest pin here, that's gonna be a ground. Our Edison connector, the U, is the ground and it's also the longest pin. Our stage pin, has the longest pin. Socopex is a little different. In order to get that ground connection to happen first, they couldn't do that from the plug side, so they did it from the connector side. And if you look at the connector of a Socopex connector, you'll see that all seven pins in the center stick closer to the surface, right? So these are gonna make connection first because they're closer to the surface, and these are all the grounds. On cam locks, it's incumbent on you, the operator, to connect the ground first so that your protection is always made. But on any connector, the longest pin is always going to be the ground. They're easy to identify. Lastly, we'll talk a little bit about adapters, right? So an adapter does not change the voltage. I can't put 200 volts in and expect to get 120 volts out. It's just wire in between there. So whatever voltage I'm putting in or power handling capacity is what I'm gonna get out the other side. We use adapters to convert from different kinds of plugs so that we can uh, use the equipment when and where and how we want, right? So a stage pin to an Edison. If I needed to connect a dimmer to a table lamp, I may need an adapter like this because the table lamp's not going to have a stage pin connector on it. It's going to have an Edison plug, right? IEC, an IEC connector to an Edison plug, an Edison plug to PowerCon. These are all very common adapters. And then this is a Socopex, a breakout to an Edison um, connector. Again, it's important to realize that this doesn't change the electrical, the type or capacity of electricity that is entering the system. 
This is just what the plug is that's coming out. So you would want to be careful to make sure that you're aligning correct voltages. Um, lastly, we'll just talk a little bit. I'll show you the back of a couple of power distribution systems. So this would be cam lock in, and then you get all of these Edison receptacles and all of these Socopex out. So I run just the five cam locks in, right? And then I get all of this power out. This is a pin and sleeve power in, and I get this kind of Socopex out, right? And then I have more pin and sleeve up here. So this is just a common power distribution system. And that concludes connectors.